The 2014 baseball team returned 16 letter winners from a team that won the program's first ever Patriot League regular season title and advanced to the Patriot League championships last year. We spoke with head coach Greg Desenzo about how these returners will impact this season. I think having some success obviously on the field uh, bodes well for, for all of our returners, but I think uh, more than anything, you know, it's a, it's a new year, uh, so we're not going to really hang our hat on what we've done in years past. I think it's really about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in our program and, and ultimately trying to get to that, that same position again, be in position to, to play in June, which is, which is all of our goals. Um, but certainly having guys that have been in the championship know what that's like, know the type of commitment and the time that it takes to get there, uh, I think is, is certainly a step in the right direction. But once that first pitch is thrown, really it, it just comes down to who executes and, and who's ready to play uh, when the lights are on. This year, the baseball team welcomes 18 new freshmen to the program as it seeks to replace the 16 players that it lost from the previous season. The Crusaders look to their talented freshman class to learn from the 16 veteran players with championship experience and grow to be successful during the 2014 season. I think it's exciting having 18 new guys on the squad. I think it's exciting for the returning players. Uh, needless to say, the, the new guys are fired up and, and they came here for all the right reasons, which is to hopefully put ourselves in the same position that we've been in the last three out of four years. Uh, you know, I think it, it bodes well for our program moving forward, certainly, and we've got a number of guys in that group that I think can contribute right out of the gate for us, and we're going to need them to, to be honest with you. So we're super excited about those 18 guys. The seven returning pitchers are joined by 10 incoming freshman pitchers. The pitching staff last year led the league with 14 saves, struck out a league second 326 batters, and threw the least amount of wild pitches in the league. Of the returning, the Crusaders bring back junior pitcher Donnie Murray. Last season, Murray was a member of the Patriot League All-Tournament team and a member of the second team All-Patriot League. Murray pitched 27.1 innings of conference play, making five starts in his five appearances, including a seven-inning complete game one-hit shutout to clinch the team's first ever Patriot League regular season title. The pitching this year is actually really exciting because um, watching throughout the fall, we have a really... Uh, a loaded staff of young arms and although we lost a lot of players and a lot of big arms for us we're actually returning a bunch of guys who were really uh, in, uh, helpful to the team last year so going into this season uh, from top to bottom really excited about the pitching staff um, the combination of returners and new guys um, really helps out in the starting rotation and in relief because uh, we have instrumental guys in both spots that are returning but with the new freshmen coming in they're really looking good this spring, and they looked great throughout the fall, so it's going to be an exciting year for the pitching staff and uh, hopefully have another great season. Holy Cross led the Patriot League last season in batting average with a team 289. They also led the league with 499 hits, 94 doubles, 22 home runs, 287 RBI, and 687 total bases. Last season, outfielder Evan Acello ranked third with his 338 batting average and batted 360 in conference play. Acello also led the league with his 67 hits and 46 runs scored. Coming into the 2014 season, Acello was named the preseason Patriot League Player of the Year. Current senior Brandon Cipolla ranked fourth in the conference with his 62 hits and fifth with his 37 runs scored. The Crusaders outscored their opponents 129 to 90 during Patriot League play, batting a collective 312. The returning nine fielders welcome eight new freshmen to the position player slots to try to keep their success from last season alive. Losing all those guys, we had a lot of veteran players, but we do have a lot of returners coming back. And with the new talent, seeing the new freshmen come in and seeing how they can uh, produce and help our team, we're very excited. Uh, we think that every freshman, whether it be a position player or pitcher, will be able to contribute to our team. And starting uh, or positionally, we, we're really excited and looking forward to what the guys can do. The baseball team will open its 2014 season with a four-game series starting on February 21st at Mississippi State. They open up their home schedule on March 23rd with a doubleheader against Yale. Come out and show your support for the baseball team. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Emily Correa.